The hybrid motorhome that just won a Global Innovation Award is now being adapted for commercial trucks. But why would RV tech be the key to transforming work fleets? Before we go any further, if you're enjoying clean trucking news and videos, you can get more delivered straight to your inbox. Sign up for our free weekly newsletter using the link in the description below. In 2024, Thor Industries unveiled the world's first hybrid Class A motorhome, built on a chassis developed by Harbinger Motors. The chassis pairs an electric drivetrain with a gasoline-powered range extender, providing up to 500 miles of range. The system is designed to allow RV users to travel farther, remain off-grid longer, and power their home in the event of an outage. In 2025, this motorhome received a World Changing Ideas Award from Fast Company, an award that honors businesses and organizations driving meaningful change in the world. Now, this award-winning chassis is being adapted for use in Class 5 and 6 commercial vehicles as a plug-in hybrid version. However, for many medium-duty trucking fleets, especially those operating a return-to-base or last-mile delivery operation, full electrification already makes sense. According to the 2025 State of Sustainable Fleets report, Medium-duty cargo vans and pickup trucks accounted for 92% of new commercial EV registrations in 2024. So why introduce a hybrid into a segment that's already leaning electric? Fully electric vehicles make sense for around 80% of medium-duty applications today, especially ones that are focused on last mile delivery. But for the other 20%, those with longer routes, unpredictable days, or limited charging access, those fleets need something different. We're extending electrification to a whole new array of use cases, from delivery vehicles on multi-shift schedules to cross-country trips and middle-mile distribution. In other words, Harbinger is targeting a niche in the medium-duty market for fleets that need these trucks, but can't go fully electric because of their routes, business model, or infrastructure challenges. Here's how Harbinger's plug-in hybrid chassis works. The chassis is an all-electric drive system powered by battery packs. It's backed up by a small gasoline engine and generator that recharges the batteries on the go. The setup delivers up to 440 horsepower, more than 1,100 pound-feet of torque, and as much as 500 miles of range. Depending on the spec, fleets can choose between 140 or 175 kilowatt-hour battery pack. And with its 800-volt architecture, it supports DC fast charging, allowing it to charge up to 80% in about an hour. Harbinger also has a vertically integrated approach to building its chassis, something the company says sets it apart from other manufacturers. We build our chassis in-house right here in America in Garden Grove. And that's not the only thing we do in-house. We're the only electric truck maker today that designs and assembles all major systems in-house, such as the battery packs, steering and braking systems, even the complete electric drive unit. So, what began as a hybrid RV platform is now positioned to help change the medium duty segment by giving the last holdouts a path to electrification. Harbinger says pre-orders are now open, with deliveries slated for early 2026. Until then, its real-world performance remains to be seen. But what do you think? Will this hybrid approach work for niche, medium duty fleets? Let us know in the comments below, and for more on hybrid trucks, watch the playlist on the screen now.